The deputy prime minister said authorities have obtained basic description of the attacker. Eight people have been detained. Information about the fingerprints and the basic appearance of the terrorist have been found. In the process after this, work to identify him swiftly will be carried out. We hope that we will not only find the terrorist, but also his connections and those who gave him support inside and outside. Kurtumu said it was clear that Turkish military incursion into Syria, launched last August, had annoyed terror groups and those behind them. But he said the offensive would continue until all the threats to Turkey were removed. Turkey sent tanks and special forces into Syria just over four months ago to push back ISIL militants from its border and prevent Kurdish militia fighters from taking ground in their wake. Turkish police unveiled a picture of the attacker that they said were from the civilian's video. Local newspaper Habertuk said the attacker was believed to have taken a taxi from the southern Zaintin Bernoun district of Istanbul to the nightclub. He pulled his rifle from a suitcase at the side of the road, opened fire on those at the door, then threw two hand grenades after entering. The report also said six empty magazine clips were found at the scene, and the gunman was estimated to have fired at least 180 bullets. The Hariot newspaper said the authorities believe the attacker may be from a Central Asian nation. That report also said he may be from the same cell responsible for a gun and bomb attack on Istanbul's main airport last June, which killed 45 people and wounded hundreds of others. Hu Chuqiao, CGTN.